Hi, everyone. My name is Miriam Higgins, and I use she, her pronouns. I'm the director here at the Milwaukee Academy of Arts. I'm also an assistant principal here at Milwaukee High School. Both schools are located together on the same campus in Milwaukee, Oregon. It's a free and public performing and visual arts charter school in, sponsored by the North Clackamas School District. Please check out our Q&A panel that's uh, recorded on our site as well. It is a follow-up to this informational slide deck about the Milwaukee Academy. The Q&A panel is, consists of alumni, students, and teachers all asking questions from a live audience. If you have any questions after this or would like more information, please reach out to us. The contact information is at the end. All right, Milwaukee Academy of Arts is located on the beautiful campus here in our renovated Milwaukee High School. It is surrounded by grass area and native plants. And when it's not raining or snowing, kids can be found outside enjoying music and socializing on our gorgeous campus. I'd like to introduce our Milwaukee High School and our Milwaukee Academy of Arts admin team. You'll see both Kim Kellogg and myself uh, as we chaperone the winter formal this year. Kim is the principal of Milwaukee High School as well as Milwaukee Academy of Arts. You have Kim on our left there and then Donnie Seal Next to her, he's our Dean of Students and has um, uh, just a robust and vibrant personality, is very kid-centered and knows a lot of things um, about what our students do and need to succeed here at Milwaukee. Chris Chavez is our other assistant principal here at Milwaukee High School and Sean Maley is an assistant principal as well as athletic director. Here are some of our marvelous teachers. We both have very experienced teachers and new fresh teachers. Um, our teachers teach both core and arts classes. Our Milwaukee of Arts Academy teachers also teach Milwaukee high school classes. So there isn't one single sole Milwaukee Academy of Arts um, educator. Uh, we wear both hats and in that way, all of the standards within those curriculums are met. Mr. Grindle, you'll see on the left, Stephen Grindle is our instrumental music teacher. He also teaches arts lab which is a required course for um, ninth graders. Laura Steenson, our theater director, also an arts lab teacher, and Willie Dolan, our vocal music director and arts lab teacher. One of the best things about our public charter school being located within a large comprehensive high school is the incredible variety of um, resources our students uh, get to have. And um, those include um, very professional, dynamic, collaborative counseling team. You'll see on the left there, our school social worker, Cade Golden, Miss um, Stacy will be the 10th grade counselor next year. Mr. Church will be the 11th grade counselor. Mr. Aguilar, 12th grade, and Ms. Barrett, 9th grade. We also have uh, a full-time school psychologist, Patrick Joyce, there on the left. Our counselors um, follow our students. So Ms. Barrett will be the school counselor for all freshmen and then will travel up with them as they proceed to 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th. 
Here's a great picture of all the um, Ma ninth graders wearing their student design t-shirts in our main lobby. So Milwaukee Academy of the Arts integrates the performing and visual arts throughout our rigorous core academic curriculum. It's also in a very nurturing environment. Together with parents and community, we empower students to reach their innate intellectual, artistic, and creative potential. Milwaukee Academy of Arts was founded in 2005. It's been around for a while and it has a strong presence here in North Clackamas School District and the Portland Regional Area. It weaves the arts throughout the curriculum to enhance student learning. Our students persistently meet or exceed Oregon State standards and students and parents both report high levels of satisfaction with their school experience and their teachers. quick snapshot of some of our students enjoying an ice cream social earlier this year. Our purpose is to develop critical thinkers, citizens, and innovators who observe arts and use the arts to express, to innovate, and communicate and create the mission of the Milwaukee Academy of Arts it believes that the arts are conducive to powerful learning and increase the presence and increasing the presence of arts in all subjects will increase motivation, relevance, and achievement. One of the many beautiful spaces in our building is an incredible library that is light filled and overlooks the Willamette River and green space. We have dedicated and highly professional, nationally recognized librarians and librarian assistants. In our commons, you will often find students playing some music, drawing, sketching before school, after school, in between. So the sound of music can be found throughout our campus in common areas. There are pianos, and there is always a, a group of students making art, creating music, singing, or just goofing around and playing together, practicing their lines. All of those things are just, just an integral part of our community. So the Arts Lab has been revamped this year and we worked together with the Arts Lab's teachers um, to refocus on process, experimentation, and the elements of art and using that in cross-curricular work. So Arts Lab supports projects creating and making in core classes such as physics, math, English, and science. This builds interest and experience for progressive programming so that students who may have not seen themselves as a, a choir member if they happen to be uh, in Mr. Dolan's um, arts lab might be encouraged or want to be part of his programming. Arts lab engage with artists and the community and use different art spaces across our campus. Within the arts lab, especially for freshmen, that became, becomes a place of community where they know one another, they work together, they collaborate um, across, and that becomes a bond that is uh, carried throughout all four years. Part of the arts lab experience and Milwaukee Academy of Arts is regular emphasis on presenting your work, iterating, sharing, and giving feedback and performing. Here's an example of an arts lab project from this year. Picasso in perspective, students learned some art history about Pablo Picasso and cubism. They learned some visual arts drawing skills and art standards around line, form, and color. 
Then we took a still life and drew it from different perspectives, creating an homage to cubism, a multidisciplinary approach with multimedia. So watercolor, markers, uh, pen and ink, collage were all used to create just beautiful um, visual 2D uh, representations of the still life. This was extremely challenging to step outside your comfort zone, do something different, and try to do something that maybe you were unfamiliar with. And um, just we reflected on that process all the way along. We also worked with the geometry, the Ma geometry teachers, then to put a tracing paper overlay on top of the paintings and then find up to 44 geometric terms that they had studied over the semester and use that as a final for both their arts lab and geometry. It ended up being a very relevant and proficiency-based way of demonstrating their understanding of those key geometric terms. Here's another, some more examples of Ma core classes, Ma English, grade 10, Ma chemistry, and Ma world history. Process, practice, and performance. The reiterative process of trying, experimenting, getting feedback, reflecting is something that is woven throughout all Ma students' days. A quote from our librarian, the arts are a consistently underestimated source of enfranchising all students with low to no stakes creative activities that all students can feel successful doing. Having fun and feeling successful can anchor students into anything from higher levels of class participation to staying in school. Brain research shows that the integration of arts into the teaching of all curricula enhances cognitive function in any all areas. So a social, emotional, concrete educational win all the way around. Here's some highlights from our state report card. Our Milwaukee Academy of Arts students are on track to graduate at 86%. Our on-time graduation rate is an enviable 96%. Here's some classes at a glance for Ma students in ninth grade the core classes that they will forecast for and enroll in are pre-AP English 9, Physics, and Geometry and Data Reasoning. Arts Lab is required elective. Tenth grade, they've got pre-AP English 10, World History, Advanced Algebra, and NGSS Chemistry. Anytime you see a MAW in front of a core class, those students in that class will be Milwaukee Academy of Arts students. In the 11th grade, they take three classes, AP English 11, U.S. History, and Biology. By their senior grade, they are to take Ma Contemporary Literature, where they explore literature, including poets and playwrights. Here's some elective classes at a glance. Pony Pipers might stand out to you as an unusual name, but that's an audition show choir that has been around and has been an invaluable um, and fun resource for students to be a part of. Audio engineering has an asterisk by it. Most of these classes uh, we are forecasting for, but because we wait to see how many classes, how many students fill the classes, they are not guaranteed that they will be offered the next year. A little bit about Sabin Schellenberg Center, another 
incredible asset that we have in North Clackamas School District is the ability for all students, both Ma and Milwaukee High School students, to take classes at the North and South Campus of Sabin Schellenberg Center. Our buses come every period and shuttle students from Milwaukee over, over to the Sabin Schellenberg Center. Some of the electives that can be taken at Sabin Schellenberg animation, architecture, programming, coding, broadcasting, social media, culinary arts, health services, welding, construction, Japanese, graphic design. They have a land lab and a forestry center and an incredible makerspace. Strategic planning and development. We always include student voice and ask for MA stakeholder input and leadership. We continually improve and analyze for our arts-based experiences. We have an incredibly invested, experienced, and engaged MA board, which is made up of MA parents, MA alumni, a MA student rep, and community members. Collaborative learning is a district-wide focus. Professional development includes monthly ninth grade MA team meetings, MA staff meetings, and MA professional learning communities. We have a targeted resource, resources for MA students that include classroom enrichment, supplies, field trips, events, and more supplies specific to arts integration. Here's a quick rundown of our current numbers of MA students. Right now we have MA Freshmen at 98, 86, sophomores, 71, juniors, and 53 seniors for a total of 308 MA students. Our seniors um, have been impacted due to COVID-19 and also are um, rebuilding when they were um, seniors coming into the Milwaukee High School. Here are two of our wonderful visual arts teachers, Savvy Ryan, who was a MA student and uh, alumni um, who comes back to us from Lewis and Clark after getting their MAT, and Michael Fell, who is an uh, experienced and just a cornerstone of the visual arts program here at Milwaukee High School. Both are professional and practicing artists. So the benefits of being a student, the core curriculum is taught through using an arts lens. It's an incredibly inclusive community. Uh, we have a unique access to a huge variety of programs. It feels like there's a smaller school within a larger comprehensive school. And let me restate that, MA is a smaller program within a larger school. So it is not separate from Milwaukee High School, but within Milwaukee High School. It, we have access to a robust arts program and staff specifically assigned to MA. We have dedicated counselors that move with our students and students graduate with a MA school diploma, which can be beneficial when they apply to post-secondary programs and colleges. Here's something very important to note. According to our charter, Milwaukee Academy of Arts students whose home school is Milwaukee High School will be provided transportation to MA. Students whose home school is not Milwaukee, but within the North Clackamas School District can go to their hub high school and take a shuttle to MA and home again to that high school but they will arrive late in the morning and need to leave a little early. Families that live outside of North Clackamas School District are responsible for providing their own transportation to MA. They will not be given bus passes or max uh, transportation, but it is on families to have them to school here in Milwaukee and, and pick them up. That being said, 
We will do everything we can to encourage carpooling and having students um, collaborate on getting together um, to uh, arrive to school on time. We are very close to the orange line. It's just right out, right off of our campus. And that is a primary way many of our students from outside of our school district come to school. So here are some application logistics. Our enrollment deadline is March 15th. We enroll about 100 students per grade. Your admission letters, acceptance letters, will be sent by the next, the following week after March 15th, so March 24th. By charter, we give priority to siblings of current Moss students and also to families living within the North Clackamas School District. Any remaining unfilled openings for MA are filled with out of district applicants. And that is weighted for racially and ethnically historically underserved students per House Bill 2954. When 100 students have been admitted and accepted, a wait list will be started. So again, special reminders, please have your applications in by March 15th. We have online applications in a variety of languages, and we also have hard copies here at the school. Those are available in Spanish, English, Vietnamese, Chinese, and Russian. We, once students have been admitted and accepted, we will have an admissions night for our out of district admits so they can come to our school and forecast for your next year's classes that will be in person and our tentative date for that will be April 11th. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn about Milwaukee Academy of Arts. It is an incredibly special place and I'm privileged to work here. Please, if you have any questions, reach out to me, Miriam Higgins. My email is at higginsm at northclack.k12.or.us. Our MA Administrative Assistant, Jewel Brown, can be reached at brownjewel at nclack.k12.or.us or by phone 503-353-5839. Thank you again for your time and attention. Please check out the question and answers and our frequently asked questions.